now that we got those out the way, let me go ahead and just get this out the way. Just get this out in the atmosphere before any more movies come out with my most anticipated list. So here are my top 10 movies in the most anticipated of 2020. I'm gonna try and get through this. I'm not gonna make it too, too long. I'm gonna try and get this as quick as possible. So at number 10, A Quiet Place Part 2. I really did enjoy the first film and I'm curious to see where the second film is gonna go. It looks like it continues straight from where the first one left off. And just, I, I wanna see what more they can do with it because the first one was built on a gimmick of just quiet and everything else. And you can feel the tension and a whole bunch of stuff that this movie bring, brought that I thought did ingenious. And I want to know if this second one can do the same thing, bring back that same feeling. Because everybody in the theater watching this film, quiet as fuck. You don't even want to chew popcorn. You just want to be quiet. So I want to know if this movie does, you know, keep that flow. And does something more to make it be like, oh, this is better than the first one. Or at least at the same level. So number nine is Tenet. Tenet is the newest film by Christopher Nolan. Uh, I enjoy the majority of his films. Still some films that I need to check out of his. But this trailer got me. It got me. Uh, I don't know too much about this movie. But I love how it shoot. I love how Christopher Nolan's movies look. And this isn't any different. Uh, Denzel's Washington's son up in here, I forgot his name, uh, and Robert Patterson up in here, uh, Denzel, Denzel's son, I'm gonna just call him that, I'm, I, you know, but I really do like him, I liked him, I liked him up in, a, a Black Klansman, and he looks like he does a great job up in here, as well as Robert Patterson, I liked him up in, uh, The Lighthouse last year, and I'm still kind of getting on, you know, Getting on the Robert Pattinson tra train, I was one of those people with like uh, Twilight or whatnot. But in any case, this movie looks good. The trailer looks intriguing. Don't know what it's really about. Hopefully, the next trailer will give more of a uh, in give more of an insight. But I'm really looking forward to it. Next one, number eight, Godzilla vs Kong. Like the second one, didn't like the first Godzilla movie. Like Kong, Skull Island, and this one looks like it's going to be awesome. Uh, we got like a little thing or whatever, a little trailer uh, seen on the internet, just like a little glimpse of them going at each other. I want to see where they're going to go with this. The second movie of Godzilla, it was like, okay, this is all carnage and chaos. So how is Kong is going to fit into this? Who's going to win? Who's going to come out on top? And I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm very intrigued on seeing where this story is going to go because I honestly couldn't think of a storyline to take this anywhere but in any case uh number seven is no time to die a movie that got pushed back because of the coronavirus uh i saw every single bond movie that daniel craig has been in and i have been a fan of it uh, i am a fan of him being james bond and i found i think that he is a great james bond i can't contest to say that he is the best or one of the best because i haven't seen a lot of the other ones but i really do enjoy him the trailer for no time to die looks incredible it looks like they're going somewhere with this where it may end up being one of the best of the series i can't say this might be better than skyfall but it may end up being one of the top three best daniel craig bond films and i am really uh anxious to see it i'm mad that they had to push it back to november because it was about to come out real soon but when it does come out i will be in theaters seeing it on the first day uh number six was bad boys for life already seen it i'm coming out with my review uh later on this week so go ahead check y'all can go ahead check that out subscribe to the channel and everything uh but it was a movie that was on my list to where it looked from the trailers looked incredible looked like it was gonna be one of those movies where like you just you know you enjoy yourself and i love the chemistry between martin and uh will within the first movies and it looks like it was going to carry on through this film and it looks like the action was going to be crazy and everything else so if you want more of my thoughts on that just stay tuned to my channel and you'll get my full thoughts on the movie. Number five, New Mutants. Movie that's been pushed back year after year and it's finally coming out and it looks crazy. It looks bonkers. It's a, a superhero movie that's taking place in a horror type setting and that is intriguing to me. I love horror films 
and I love superhero films. So it's the best of both worlds. What is not to like about it? And then the latest trailer that had came out for it looks fucking incredible. I'm definitely am on board with seeing this first night. Definitely am. Number four, trailer. Well, for trailers. Uh, Antlers. <laughs> Antlers, the new movie by Guillermo del Toro. I love his creature designs and everything else. And this movie looks like it's going to be bonkers. Look like it's going to be bonkers. Uh, it's just a simple story of a kid is feeding these monsters. I don't know if they his parents that turned this way or he just, I don't know what it is, but they end up escaping and chaos just breaks loose. And it looks like it's going to be one of those horror films that is going to just scare the hell out of people. And I hope it does. And I hope that it's a really good horror film because I am really looking forward to this. Number three, the pho photograph. Um, really, I was looking forward to this. To me, firsthand, it looked like a uh, Fifty Shades of Grey type of film. Uh, but, you know, it. I don't, like, I'm going to give my four thoughts. Uh, I believe next week I'm going to do it. February films and everything else. I'm going to do that next week. But that's what I thought. And it looked like it was good. It looked like it had some good chemistry between the characters, both of the actors up in there. I really do like how they are in like other films and everything else. And it looked like it was a movie that was going to be awesome. And I'm, that's all I'm going to say about it because you're going to have my full thoughts. And yeah, uh, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Love The Conjuring movies. The first one is one of my favorite films of all time. One of my favorite horror films as well of all time. And, uh, I can't really say too much about the other spinoffs, but Conjuring 1 and Conjuring 2, love both of those films. So, of course, I was going to be on board for this one, and hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Either it's better than the first and second one, or better than the second one, or just on par with both of them. I don't care. Just as long as it's good, great, I'm, I will be ready. And number one... As I said before, as you kind of hint, Black Widow. Just seen the trailer, so I'm glad I put this at number one. reason I put this at number one was because it's an MCU film. And, of course, at the end game and Spider-Man Homecoming, it was like, I'm, I'm going to see what's what the next chapter is going to bring. What is going to start. And what significance this movie has with the new phase. Phase four, whatever you're going to call it. And after seeing this latest trailer... I'm glad I put it at number one because I'm truly excited on seeing this movie. Uh, and so that wraps up the, you know, most anticipated list. I'm going to run through it real quick and then I'm going to jump into the movie reviews. Yeah. So uh, number 10, A Quiet Place Part 2. Number 9, Tenant. Number 8, Godzilla vs. Kong. Number 7, No Time to Die. Number 6, Bad Boys for Life. Number 5, the New Mutants, number four, Antlers, number three, The Photograph, number two, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, part three of it, and number one, Black Widow. So that is my most anticipated list of 2020. 